the never-ending fight about autofocus and new features on cameras. Right off the bat, let me just be clear that this video is not meant to dissuade anyone from wanting autofocus in cinema cameras. I'm for any new tech that aids creatives as long as it doesn't take away something important from the cameras in doing so. For those of you that hate autofocus, and think it's dumb to put into cinema cameras. I don't know if you knew this, but on lenses, there's this thing called an off switch, right? Right here, I don't know if you can see that, but you can literally like, listen. Punch it, Bishop! You can turn it off and it magically allows you to manually focus with the lens still. Groundbreaking tech right there, right? <laughs> All jokes aside, and before I make anyone else upset here, let's get into why good autofocus is probably a long way off for Blackmagic design cameras. Autofocus was created and patented back in the 1960s by Leica, and they were able to show off an SLR camera with fully functional autofocus in 1978. And over the next 40 years, autofocus has developed in some pretty incredible tech. And in the past five years, it has really taken it to another level that's beginning to make not everyone, not everyone, but a good majority of people wonder if it will become standard in all forms of cameras. The two most common forms of autofocus we have are the following contrast detection, which it determines the point where the contrast is greatest between the edges of objects, calculating focus based off them and adjusting the lens until focus is achieved for a sharp image. And contrast detection tends to be more accurate than other methods of autofocus, but it does tend to be slower in actually focusing. Next, we have phase detection, which analyzes the difference between slightly different wavelengths of light, instantly determining both the direction to move the lens and how far its optics need to move for the sharpest focus. And the best example of this is Canon's dual pixel CMOS autofocus, which has been around since 2013. Dual pixel autofocus switches up phase detection a bit from how it used to be. Usually most cameras have a select amount of pixels on the camera sensor that handles autofocus. With dual pixel autofocus, every single pixel on the camera sensor has two separate light sensitive photodiodes, each having its own micro lens essentially that are capable of working together or individually. And now Canon has been filing patents for things like eye controlled autofocus, quad pixel autofocus, and even more here recently. So there's a lot more coming. And of course you also have Sony and Nikon pushing their own auto autofocus tech, with even Nikon creating a lens that could kill you if you have a pacemaker with its powerful magnets that help to make smoother and faster autofocus. All this history and context to say that the top camera companies have been doing autofocus in the industry for a long time and have the research and experience to back it up. Sure, Blackmagic could go the route of the Panasonic GH6 and utilize DFD or depth from focus autofocus and call it a day, but you don't really get usable autofocus or even reliable autofocus in my opinion, so why do it. You could even go the hybrid route of combining the contrast detection autofocus with phase detection, which is what a lot of other manufacturers do. But then you run into affecting other parts of your sensor's designs, and it could affect the image quality and other issues that kind of present itself when you try to integrate more stuff into a sensor. So I hope from this you can kind of start putting the pieces together that you can't just slap on an autofocus system to a camera sensor and call it a day and start shipping it out tomorrow. You can't just copy Canon's designs because, you know, patents, and you'll have to make your own system, which can be expensive and time consuming. Consuming. And look, I'm not saying Blackmagic couldn't do it. I mean, I think they could probably figure out a pretty decent autofocus system if I'm being honest. But the reality is they are still a fairly new company that doesn't have the resources that Canon and Sony do. So does that keep them from doing it? No, but it's a hurdle that they have to clear. And it's not the only one they have to clear because what else do the best autofocus camera companies like Canon and Sony also make? Their own lenses. I want this so much, but don't know if I can try. A big part of good autofocus is having the right lenses to go with it. With a good robust motor system that can react well to the sensor data it's being fed. The problem right now is that most lenses being developed for autofocus going forward are not mount systems that Blackmagic has access to using unless they were able to strike a deal with a larger manufacturer. Canon is on to RF mounted lenses, Sony with their E mount and Nikon with theirs. Blackmagic has used, you know, MFT mounts in the past, but that seems like a thing of the past for them. And now they rely more on EF and PL mounts, which PL mounts 
accounts really don't have a massive need for autofocus because they're mostly used for films or broadcast purposes. And any EF lenses left are starting to age and will eventually not be able to keep up with new autofocus tech unless someone comes and redesigns some of the stuff with them. So where does that leave black magic? Well, if they wanna have a solid autofocus system, they will either need to make their own lenses, acquire a lens company like Sigma, or partner with one for the foreseeable future. Otherwise, even if you have a great autofocus system you've developed, you end up working with lenses that may or may not work well with it. So that's a fascinating possibility, right? I mean, that would be awesome. Imagine if Blackmagic could pull off something like acquiring a company like Sigma or something equivalent to that, or just even making their own lenses. Could they make high quality lenses affordable as their cameras? To me, that would, mm, that would make, that would set them on another level. But that's, you know, future talk and speculative thinking. That, and even all the systems we've been talking about are old conventional autofocus systems. So is there any emerging autofocus tech that could help? That's a good question. LiDAR systems, which I'm sure a bunch of you have been screaming at your monitors for this entire video. The LiDAR focusing system, which is also used in self-driving car tech, is the latest autofocus technology that is really expected eventually revolutionize autofocus for any camera. A LiDAR sensor, in simple terms, measures the distance to the nearest object and relays that information and focuses in the lens based on that distance. Some of the benefits, no focus hunting, ability to focus in low light situations, and you can use any lens you want to with it. The DJI Ronin 4D is really the first major camera to begin to implement this technology. And while it may not be the top system yet for autofocus, it could be in the future as it's being paired with deep learning AI algorithms that could turn this into an incredible system that we will be diving into at a later date. So could Blackmagic slap an autofocus system onto a new camera? Sure. Would it be good to do right now? I think for them, it makes sense to wait and let new technology like LiDAR develop, perhaps even beginning initial testing themselves and developing a good system before they go live with it. So far, right now, not having an autofocus system has not really kept people from buying their cameras and especially not their target market from doing so. But in the future, as they expand as a company, adding autofocus is something that will help the cameras be more accessible and faster transitioning process for prosumer camera users to cinema cameras and the influx of new videographers in the market. I mean, it, I wouldn't expect to see a robust autofocus system in Blackmagic cameras for a while. And talk of features like this sometimes can distract us from the fact that we don't necessarily need all these features to make us better filmmakers. And that's why you should watch this video right here that goes into detail about why Ari makes the best cameras and why you should pay attention to what they do.